King Charles and Queen Camilla have been photographed attending church at St. Mary Magdalene on the Sandringham Estate, where His Majesty is currently recuperating. Following news of his cancer diagnosis earlier this week, the King has cancelled all upcoming royal engagements and retreated to Norfolk for some peace and quiet. In pictures taken this morning Charles appeared in good spirits and was spotted chatting happily with the vicar with Camilla by his side, his first trip to church since news of his cancer was made oblique. On Monday evening Buckingham Palace released a statement saying the king has a form of cancer although the exact type was not specified. The news came after he underwent a planned operation last month to treat a benign enlarged prostate which saw him hospitalized for three nights. Stay up to date with the latest royal news join us on WhatsApp our community members are treated to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. You can check out at any time. More info Charles was seen in public for the first time on Tuesday after undergoing his first treatments as an outpatient in London, as he was driven back to Clarence House and then flew to Sandringham via helicopter. Before leaving the capital he was briefly reunited with his younger son Prince Harry, who traveled over from California to see his father after learning of his illness. The king is still carrying out work at home and will continue to receive his red boxes every day from the government as friends say he struggles to switch off. The Cullen Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online, Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial on Saturday evening His Majesty released a statement from Sandringham expressing his gratitude at the flood of support he has received from well wishes. It read, I would like to express my most heartfelt thanks for the many messages of support and good wishes I have received in recent days. As all those who have been affected by cancer will know, such kind thoughts are the greatest comfort and encouragement. It is equally heartening to hear how sharing my own diagnosis has helped promote public understanding and shine a light on the work of all those organizations which support cancer patients and their families across the UK and wider world. My lifelong admiration for the tireless care and dedication is all the greater as a result of my own personal experience.